practice every day. The channel's full of bread, a little turn, a little pray. I flip a million out of nothing, make me feel a certain way. Hoping that the switch. What's good, y'all? Fist Vegas, the hardest voice of sports. Go ahead, hit that like button and subscribe to the Fisk. You know why you at it. Y'all know what time it is. If you ain't with it, you best get with it. Now let's rock. Listen. Hit that sub button. Hit that sub button. Join this Fisk Unit Army. Get Fisk Unit tough. You understand me? There's perks to come in. Into the Fisk unit. I've been telling y'all for a year now. You join the Fisk unit, you become bulletproof, bomb proof, sword proof. You even become dom proof. If dom and the family coming to get you because you done done some stuff, you, they, 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 the cars and magnets gonna bounce right off of you. <laughs> come, come get Fisk unit tough. But anyway, shout out to the Giants. Shout out to Joe Judge. Shout out to Dave Gettleman for making moves. So we went and got the Cowboys starting center. Well, former starting center. And Joe Looney, I think his name is. You know what I'm saying? I hope it ain't Tooney. I think it's Looney. So we went and got him. And from what I can see, he the shit. You know, anytime Cowboy fans are saying that we did something right, I'm happy. Now... I'm going to take a wild guess and say that if he was good enough to replace Travis Frederick, he's good enough for us. This is a guy who started three seasons in Jason Garrett's offense. He knows what to do. He's experienced, and it'll let us put Nick Gates at guard. I feel bad for Shane Lemieux, but what I'm thinking is this lets us put Nick Gates at guard. So I guess we're going to have him at center or him at guard. What I'm trying to say is, I don't know what they're going to do with Looney and Gates. One of those is going to be the center. One of those is going to be the guard. I think Shane Lemieux is going to be a backup. I don't think Shane Lemieux is going to be the starter anymore. I think he just got Wally picked. <laughs> he, may, he may have just got Wally picked. You feel me? So, it, it, But you know what? Look, Shane Lemieux was horrible in pass blocking last year. He was horrible. Capital H, horrible. So you know, eh, it is what it is. I feel bad for the guy because he, you know, he got hurt. He got carted off the field. He's gonna miss a couple weeks, and in that couple of weeks, his spot's gonna be gone. You know. So I mean, I feel bad for the guy, but look, only the strong survive, man. We trying to win a damn Super Bowl. Yeah, I said it. Super Bowl. We don't play this shit for division titles. We don't play this shit for, for playoff berths. We think it's Super Bowl. You feel me? If you ain't trying to win a Super Bowl, what the hell are you doing this for? If you ain't trying to win a Super Bowl, what you out there sweating like a slave for? If you ain't trying to win a Super Bowl, why are you letting Joe Judge curse you out for all, all damn day? If you ain't trying to win a Super Bowl, what are you lifting weights and running the miles for? Damn it, we trying to win a damn Super Bowl. And in order to do that, we got to have a pretty decent offensive line. It ain't got to be great. It ain't got to be the 90s Cowboys. It don't got to be the shit they got in New Orleans right now with the best tackle tandem in the league. It ain't got to be all that. It just got to be good enough to let Saquon hit them holes and good enough to let Danny Dimes get that ball to Kenny G. We ain't asking for much. We ain't asking for much. Just be serviceable. You ain't got to be great. You ain't got to be the 07 Giants line with, with, with Snee and McKenzie and Soybert. And deal and all them goons we had over there and freaking uh back in 07. It ain't gotta be the 07 Giants line. But you know, let's just be serviceable. So we got a legit starter. So we got three legit players. Pert, not not Pert. Andrew Thomas, Looney, and Gates. We'll see what Hernandez does bouncing back in the contract season. And we'll see how Matt Pert holds up. But for the most part, the line is shaping up. So now you hog molly people can chill the hell out. You smell me? Y'all can relax. Okay, we brought in some reinforcements. All right, we brought in some reinforcements. We got some help on the offensive line. I'm 99% sure that Joe Looney is better than whoever, anybody we could have picked in the third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh round. Because y'all was all mad we didn't take some, some guard in like the third or fourth round. I forgot who his name was. But y'all was pissed the hell off we didn't take him. 
Oh, how could you take another cornerback? Yeah. I did cry like hoes on draft night because we weren't taking a lineman. Which to this day, I actually find funny because when Big Fist was mad that we ain't take no wide receivers in 2020, y'all laughed at me. I didn't want to hear that shit. So jokes on you, karma's a bitch. 2021, we ain't taking no linemen. So all us receiver people got a chance to laugh at y'all. It's only fair. <laughs> it's only fair, you feel me? So you know, damn. That's the mother. The mother got a nice ass. Is that the mother or the big sister? Is she letting the daughter drive or is she letting the little sister? I'm in the parking lot waiting on my Chinese food, by the way. And just she just she really got a nice ass, yo. Whoever the boyfriend or the husband is, cause she's definitely in a relationship. That's a lucky man. I don't say that often. You know, I'm picky when it comes to asses. I'm a I'm a female booty connoisseur. So if I say that shit is perfect, you can take it to the damn bank, okay? It just anyway, um, what the hell was I talking about? Uh, yeah. So yeah, 2020 we ignored wide receiver. 2021 we ignored the offensive line. Okay, it's it is what it is. But you gotta understand, we need a cornerback depth, and if we needed a pass rusher, we needed a wide receiver. That's what we did. We solidified the secondary. We we solidified the pass rush with AZ. And we solidified the wide receiving court with um, Kadarius Tony. We took three offensive linemen last year. You know what I'm saying? So it's only right that we address other needs in the draft. So now y'all could be happy. You know, we all thought it was probably going to be Trey Turner. But it didn't end up being Trey Turner. We ended up getting Looney. That's cool. We also signed some guy from Minnesota named Ty Davis. I don't even know if he's going to make the damn team. He might just be a camp body because Blake Martinez is on the, in, is on, is on the uh, IR right now. So, um, he should be back sometime next week, Blake Martinez. He caught that Resident Evil. So, he should be back soon. But for the most part, I don't even know if Ty Davis is going to make the team. But it is what it is. Hope he does good. Put that work in. I like the fact that Brunson is out here, here hitting people. So, we'll see what, how he does. But, yeah, y'all. That's it. I'll see y'all tomorrow. That's it. That's all. Subscribe to the unit if you rocking with me. My name is Fist Vegas and I approve this message.